Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Hundreds of people joining together for peace, walking the streets of Johnstown tonight. The large group started at the Greater Johnstown High School, ended that march at Point Stadium. And Jacqueline Kovac has more on the march tonight. Jackie? Marty, about 500 people joined together for this walk. It took a little more than an hour to travel from the high school to Point Stadium, but the crowd stayed motivated together. Hundreds of people from a number of different communities in and around Johnstown joined together to display peace and unity in the city Friday. Those walking said they had a great time meeting new people that shared the same mission. I thought the atmosphere was crazy. Everyone came out and did what they're supposed to do. They try to make the community better. Young and old, the group walked from the Greater Johnstown High School through several neighborhoods directly impacted by crime and violence. Those walking filled the streets, chanting and cheering for peace in Johnstown. Students from the high school urged people to come to the event and had a large impact on the walk. A lot of people probably think that kids in high school aren't going to be able to make a difference. But um, when Lacey and Artrell came to us, all of us, like we were like, yeah, like we'd love to do that and stuff. And uh, the turnout we had was amazing, so we had a big part in it. The walk continued to Point Stadium where students hey, took part in a flash mob. <laughs> and organizers spoke about the importance of communicating and standing together in the fight against all the bad in the city. I just felt a charge that I haven't felt really for a long time. Uh, just at, starting from the high school and on, on down, a good mix of people, a bigger turnout than we expected, a better day than we expected. As the group finished the march, everyone who walked was asked to form a peace symbol on the field at Point Stadium. A picture was taken by a photographer in a helicopter, but the formation showed everyone the true purpose for Friday's event. I feel like this is just the start of something very, very special. Organizers say they learned a lot from this year's event and are already thinking of ways to improve for next year. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News.